Next to face the dragons is Marianne Dujardin from Seattle. She's enlisted the help of a very special assistant, although today he's opted to arrive via elevator instead of the more traditional chimney. I'm really happy to have Santa here. He's going to add some joy and some spirit. Ooh, happy Christmas. Yo, ho, ho. It looks a little bit crafty. And I'm sure he's really on board with my product and it'll help the dragons invest. Are you believing Father Christmas? Of course I do. Oh. 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 Merry Christmas, dragons! <laughs> My name is Marianne Dujardin, and I'm here today to ask for 40000 in return for 25% of my company, Rethink Wrap. Now, I hate to talk trash in front of Santa, but did you know the UK bins 227,000 miles of gift wrap each year? That's enough to circle the earth nine times. And most people think, oh, it's paper, it can be recycled, but actually most of it goes to the landfill because gift wrap in itself is either too thin or too shiny, and it actually pollutes the recycling stream. So I have Rethink Wrap. It's the smart, reusable gift wrap for those of us who love beautifully wrapped gifts but hate trashing the planet. It works just like regular gift wrap, except that it comes scrunched up in a tin, which for me, it's embrace the wrinkles is my mantra and each of the gift wrap is individually numbered, so it's perfect for social media. You can track it online and see where in the world it's been and what happy occasions it's celebrated. I think I should wrap this up, and Santa has some gifts for you. Oh, oh wow. Gifts, yes. Well, I hear you've all been very good. Reusable gift wrap is the offering from Marianne Dujardin. I haven't. <laughs> I'll have to look into that. Who's seeking 40,000 pounds. Oh, thank you very there much. There we go in return for a 25% share in her business. Santa, are we allowed to open our presents today? Yes, yes please, by all means, open them now. Santa might have a gift for every boy and girl. Merry Christmas, everybody. Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Santa. But will any of the dragons feel in the seasonal spirit of giving? Marianne, mm -hmm. hi. Hi, Dave. Um, I just want to say a bit more about mm -hmm. how this works. OK. So I buy a tin. Yes. And I wrap a present, mm -hmm. give it to my family. Well, you can either give forward or ask for it back and just keep it within families. We have a, you know, one that circulates within our family and we reuse every year. Mary Ann. Yes, yes. Um, you remind me a little bit of my ex-wife. Okay. Because she uses the same wrapping paper year after year, but then she then irons it all and puts it away for the following year. Right, perfect. She saves a wrapping paper every year. I do. I don't iron mine, to be fair. She has beautiful wrapping <laughs> paper. Once the children open them all up, she takes them, presses them, puts them away for the next year. Anyway, so tell me about yourself. I'm originally from Seattle. Right. I'm a graphic designer for retail packaging. So when did you first start this business? About a year and a half ago. OK, so what sales have you done? 400 pounds. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> so the next 12 months, right. A, where will you sell it? And B, how much will you sell? Well, I have a meeting with John Lewis in two weeks, which right. is quite exciting. Um, I hope to get into retailers. I'll probably sell on Amazon just to get out there. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I could do um, 10,000. Pounds or 10,000 units? Units. I'm looking for pounds. Um, it would be 78. Gross profit? Um, 48. Net profit? Hopefully break even. Mary Ann's modest sales have left the dragon somewhat underwhelmed. Can Sarah Davies unravel anything to lift the mood? Mary Ann, what are you planning to spend the 40,000 on if you get the investment? Some inventory, also the, um, the website. So you haven't got the website at the moment? No, the website's up and running and, and it's already, it's just the tracking part of it that I would really like some back-end help with because I'm not a coder. So how do you track where it's been? Well, it's proactive. You have to go online and share it with social media. There's no tech that does that, it's just you? It's just me, yeah. It's, I'm doing it manually, yeah. 
honestly, the idea of the whole tracking it around the globe, mm -hmm. I feel like you're putting a lot of time, effort and money into this part here. Mm -hmm. And I, I see it's got a couple of extra little stickers on. And I just worry that that's not achievable if you were producing a lot of these. I would probably make it proactive so that people would create their own identity. So I wouldn't have to do the individual ID so they could name it themselves and create, you know, more of a bond with it. Marianne is confident she can upscale production whilst retaining her gift wrap's homespun feel. But has Tej Lalvani spotted a more fundamental problem with her product's eco credentials? Marianne, is this made from recycled material? No, it's not. That would make it a lot better, I think, because it would. That, that way at least you're using that recycled be material to, to make it. What about this? The aluminum. How do you dispose of this? Well, it actually acts as a reminder to keep it and store it. And yeah, it, but I could have 30 of those. You can put it back in. No, but I can't because I've given the present away. You can put it within the box. That's not a good I answer. Know. Because also, you got plastic. Yeah, I know. Look, you've done the right thing to pitch it at 40,000 for 25%. Mm -hmm. And I like the concept. However, to make that into a business with these components, I think you're doubling up on the issue, so I don't think it deals with it. OK. So for that reason, I'm out. Thank you. Marianne has lost her first dragon, as Peter Jones fears that in trying to deal with one problem, she succeeded only in creating another. Gift wrap is already part and parcel of Tuka Suleiman's retail empire. But will he tie up this particular deal? Look, um, you've come up with a luxury wrapping paper. And you could sell some. Go out there and sell to people who might want to put it on expensive gifts. Harrods, they have a wrapping division. Mm -hmm. Selfridges, go to Cartier, go to Gucci. Easy for you to say go to Cartier and Gucci, because you can do that. I, I can do that, of course yeah. I can do that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, oh. <laughs> I, I don't see the reward big enough for me to go to Gucci and Cartier and sell these for you. Okay. So for that reason, okay. I'm out. Marianne, I can see we are trying to get at this, but I just don't think it's a business as an investor at this stage. Okay. Love what you're doing and continue to do it. Hope it does work out. But I'm out. Marianne, I love the idea, and if it's a small victory that you've made today, I am going to go away from here and start reusing all of my Excellent. gift up. However. I don't like the idea of scrunching it. I'd be like <gasps> your wife. I'd be, I'd be eyeing in it. Ex-wife. See, I'm embrace the wrinkles. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then I also worry that I don't see that you've got a unique business model because okay. I'm guessing this isn't something you've got any form of protection on. No. So it's not for me today, and I'm out. <clears throat> a second, third, and fourth dragon have now folded on the deal. Deborah Meaden always has an eye for an investment with planet-saving potential. But is she, like Mary Ann, dreaming of a green Christmas? I've got drawfuls of recycled yeah. wrapping paper. Mm -hmm. Actually, my whole family does. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a thing. Mm -hmm. you know, I've got an yeah. ancient bit of wrap that keeps going around, and the ribbons and the labels get yeah. cut yeah. up, and all my Christmas cards mm -hmm. get cut up. Mm -hmm. Actually, my mother takes it one step further. She recycles gifts. Yeah, I've had the same gift back mm -hmm. three or four times, <laughs> which actually is quite modern of her now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I can remember what you gave me last year, Mum. Stop it. Anyway. <laughs> um, so I come from that angle, and I'm a bit rabid about recycling yes. anyway. So I'm, I'm your customer, except that I wouldn't want to buy that. Oh. I would kind of feel that it's another production process, particularly that plastic yeah. is production. Mm -hmm. and if you're going to do it, you have got to be lily white. Right. If somebody cares enough to pay, then they're going to care that the whole that thing yeah. is completely environmentally friendly.
I like your thinking, but there's just something not quite right about the execution. I'm out. Okay. Thank you all for your time. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Sadly for Mary Ann, she must leave the den empty handed. Today's not the outcome that I hoped for, but in the future, it will be great. We should rethink. Her initial concept might have been a cracker, but when it came to wrapping up a deal, the dragons simply weren't prepared to talk turkey. I'm just thinking how frosty Christmas is going to be in the Meaden household now I've told my mother off for recycling gifts. Yeah. <laughs> Mrs Meaden Sr. is going to be very unhappy. <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs>